In this video, we're going to learn how to get and use the Generative Fill AI tool on the Adobe Firefly website. This allows you to use the new Generative Fill tool without having to download and install Photoshop. To get started, head to firefly.adobe.com. Once you're here, you'll want to sign into your Adobe account using the login option here on the top right of the screen. Once you're logged into the Adobe Firefly beta site, you'll see all the new tools that Adobe is working on. Some of them have been implemented inside of Photoshop and Illustrator now, but you can still use them as standalone tools this way. You can also check out the other AI tools that Adobe's working on if you want to see what's coming. Find the Generative Fill tool here and then hit Generate. You'll then be taken to the Generative Fill page. You have some examples here that you can choose to play around and learn with, or you can upload your own image to use. Hover over any of the example images and it'll show you ideas that you can use when you're using this tool. Let's select one and try it out by hitting Try Example. Once inside of here, we'll take a look at the Generative Fill tools. On the left, first we have Insert. Choose that and then make sure that you start with the Add tool here. Next, use the Brush tool to select the area that you want to add to, and then here at the bottom, type in what you want to add to the image. We'll say Add Waves and then hit Generate. Firefly will then do its best to add the text prompt that you gave it. It's hit or miss sometimes, but it does generate four options for you to choose from. When you find one that you like, hit keep. It'll then add it to your image. You can then continue to add to the image however much and wherever you want. You also have the subtract tool here, which allows you to unselect a part of the selection that you already made. You can also hit clear to completely clear your selection. Next, you have brush settings where you can adjust the brush size and more. The background button here will automatically select the background if you want to change that, or you can select invert to only keep the background. Next, you have the remove tool. You can choose this and then paint out an object that you want to remove. When you're done with your selection, hit remove here at the bottom, and then Adobe will remove your selection with four options. Next, let's look at using an image of our own. Head back to the main generative fill page, and then open or drag and drop your image into the section here on the top. It'll then open the image inside of the edit page. Again, same as before, you can use the generative fill tools to edit your image. I'll select the sky here with the insert tool, use the text prompt bar to add something like add northern lights, and then see what Adobe comes up with. When I find one that I like, I'll go ahead and hit keep. If we like this and we're finished, we can then download the image by hitting download at the top here. You'll then get the transparency and AI dialog box, which tells us Adobe automatically tags the image, letting people know that the image was created and used in AI. Hit continue and then choose where you want to save it to your machine. We'll take a look at one more example here. I'll go ahead and upload this photo of an empty bridge I took, select the insert tool, make my selection, and then type person walking. I'll find one that I like that was generated, hit keep, and continue adding or removing anything else that I want from the image with the insert and remove tools. This is a really cool new tool that Adobe's beta testing with Firefly without the need of Photoshop, so go ahead and play with it and see what you can come up with. And that's how you use the generative fill tool inside of the Adobe Firefly AI beta.